Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this series strategy game, and we are returning to the old world where we are playing as Philip, the strong of Greece. We are 61. We are not going to last that much longer, but I'm very excited because at that point, Phil Alexander the Great is going to turn uh, take over from us. So, yeah, let's end this turn and see what's going to develop over here. Um, we are no longer ill. Okay, that's nice to see. Uh, but our, actually, our wife has gotten ill instead. Well, that's uh, not going to be that important. Now, our wife is also 55, although she does look quite a bit younger than that, I have to say. But still, I mean, the artwork. Just just look at that. It's it's lovely, isn't it? Right, okay. Dinner with a rival. A delegation from Rome is sent to help settle a minor dispute that is brewing between your two nations. At dinner, one of their parties, one of their party, speculates on who could be the gods of war, leading to a spirited debate. They put forward General... Appius Claudius Antistas as the best candidate. Who do you choose? I agree, Pius. Okay. Uh, Prince Alexander becomes slightly slighted. Let's be realistic. Everyone knows our own Prince Alexander is unbeatable. Legitimacy plus two. Memory of Rome. Honestly, I don't think that um, being slighted. Ooh, it's a trade. Cannot be tutor, governor, general on the council. Okay, no. Um, we need to defend our son over here. Uh, that is definitely the case. Origin of the state. Cato, the great thinker and politician in Corinth, comes forward with a text chronicling the story of Greece. His account includes all the major events in the nation's history, both inspiring and tragic, and spares no one in its critical assessment. Should we make his document available to all, or should we prohibit its distribution to protect the state? Available to all would increase culture. On the other hand, we could also have everyone be a little bit of better opinion from us. Now, honestly, I think since everyone here is so friendly towards us, I think just increasing that a little bit might be very useful for us. Education? Our grandchild here, third in line, so the second son, uh, sorry, second child of our son is growing up. So she's a pretty good character already, isn't she? Now, she's actually already, even though she's a year younger, she's already much better than our actual grandson over here. So, you know what, I'm actually going to make her into a philosopher as well. And we're going to see how that is going to work out. Farming by star. Observing farm on the outskirts of Athens, Dionysus the scientist has developed a new calendar for planting crops based on the movement of the stars. Her ideas are still early phases, but additional research could help boost food production. So, we could get a little bit more food and more border tiles in Athens, or more citizens. Now, both of these choices are pretty good. How many citizens have we got? We've got zero citizens. On the other hand, we could be getting the game over here into our land as well. And honestly, I think that might be the slightly better choice. Okay, let's go ahead with this. Slightly more... Hmm. Interesting. So, the border expanded that way. Didn't quite expect that, but okay, fine. I've got a couple of idle workers over here. So we've uh, housed in these guys over here. That's that's all right, I suppose. Do you want to do anything else in particular down here in Sparta? Now, let's park that question for now. You've got you guys are finished over here, which is okay too. We've got the furs over there. We've got all of this area down here. We could build a lumber mill, of course, and that would be a good lumber mill because it's on the river bank. But other than that, it's not that useful to us right at this moment. We could build a wonder. So which wonders are actually available to it at this point? The pyramids? Arid? Do we have anything, anything that's arid over here? Well, we do have some arid places down there. So that would give us quite a bit of culture, but it's mostly local culture, so it's not that important. More important is the law cost. Oracle could also be built down there in the hills, which would give us a lot of money. Tech can, all of this is pretty nice. Necropolis, a lot of culture locally, a lot of local culture. 
all cities plus one culture level is is fantastic also the growth here on the Ishka gate is pretty nice extends trade networks spreads borders hmm coast cities plus 50 percent we only have one coast city though so i don't think that's that useful state religion acropolis yeah these are uh, well the mausoleum here is is very lovely that research boost is is pretty useful i think the circus maximus also very nice for mounted units all mounted units start with swift so that might be a very good thing to build down there cannot be built on water requires adjacent city requires culture legendary okay so that would require the city down there to be a lot more culturable okay fine yeah we can only build the weak stuff for now that's okay so since you are over here anyway um well so do we want to build this up? Do we want to get over here? Land consolidation is going to be done in a couple of turns. Uh, but it's not that useful for now. Okay, let's get over here. And let's actually build a lumber mill here. And I think that's going to be alright. Good, yeah. And then in terms of the other worker, I do want to prioritize that a little bit. Building a mine over here would not be bad. That would boost the mine uh, mining output of the gold mine here. Which is nice, to be honest. Um, on the other hand, just building a farm over here might also be super useful because it's adjacent to pastures and that's a 40% boost there. So yeah, let's go ahead and build this up over here. It's going to take a couple of turns, but it's going to give us a lot more food, uh, which I think is going to be fantastic. Good. Let's try to discover a little bit more of this valley over here as we are passing through here. Oh well, no, no goody hut, but still interesting uh, location there. Well, over here, I think we are sort of getting to the limit of what we can learn. So let's actually come down here into Egypt to see what's going on over here um, with these guys. So there's their capital, basically. I think, at least, that's what this is. But, yeah. Well, moving about over here is revealing a lot of their stuff. They have a lot of a lot of quarries, I have to say. And a lot of farms. I mean, these guys are building up so fast. I don't know whether the AI is just playing better at doing some of these things than I am, but or whether they're just getting bonuses. Well, we're going to have to see. Right, end year here, and I think we do need to go for some more settlers at some point. Okay, we could build a granary over here, boost the adjacent farms quite significantly. Not a bad choice then, I think. Um, on the other hand, building a shrine down here might also not be not be the worst idea you could also build roads now this city does it count as being connected yes it does so that's fine but i do think we want to build probably a road to over here because i think sparta is not counting as connected um, and that does mean that we are paying more for the maintenance of this city and i think if we just got to this area over here that would count as connected can we see that base by the way I think I think this is the overlay for that. So yeah, that would work. And this area over here is fine. There's a lot of wine here that we could grab at some point. Probably also want to build a road over there. Now down here, a quarry wouldn't be a terrible idea. Now in terms of urban improvements, we've still we can't build the barracks. That's okay though, we can build the Shrines of Hades. Now, that's only useful if we are building a lot of quarries. Or Zeus. Zeus might be useful. It's gonna give us a little bit of culture per turn, uh, which is nice, but more importantly, it would give us a little bit of culture per turn, and I think that would be good, so that at some point we might be actually able to build the Circus Maximus. So yeah, let's go ahead and build the Shrine of Zeus in the city over here, and that's fine. Good. Right, uh, one of our cities is idle, so yeah, that's you guys. You finished the trappers over there. Good. Okay, yeah, lovely. Lovely indeed. Now, Treasury 1 would not be a terrible idea. Another worker wouldn't be terrible either, so uh, we are expanding a little bit faster, including getting some roads done. I think that might not be a terrible idea. It would also help us build some of the wonders that we might want to go for. 
So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, uh, let's go for the scouts. Again, just finding goody hearts would be fantastic. So let's try to do so before the uh, before our competitors are coming up this way. Okay, and uh, let's prioritize the areas where we think that at least it's a little bit more important to know what's going on down here. Because here are the Egyptians. Ooh, they've got a city location here that they haven't really uncovered yet. So that's interesting. Or used yet. Maybe they expanded down here very rapidly. I do not know. Right, okay, and then these scouts over here can just try to pass by these barbarians there through this terrible, terrible woodland here. But yeah, okay, fine. And then the warriors themselves, uh, they can start to move back a little bit and that's going to be fine as well. Right, and yeah. Egypt has begun... Ah, construction on this. Well, well, well. Hanging gardens completed by Carthage. Our wife is no longer ill. A group of curious Carthagians appear on the path ahead, as if expecting your men. Removing all weapons, they place them on the ground at their feet. The leader, who speaks our language, expresses excitement over this momentous meeting, offering a gift of fine meat and wine. So, we are meeting a new player over here. Uh, Carthage means us no harms, or so they say. Now, we could accept the gracious gesture. That would give us a little bit less legitimacy. We could say that their ways are not our ways. That would give us an opinion debuff. Or we could just immediately enter war. Just just immediately right away. No, I think we're going to go with the their ways are not our ways. Uh, they're far away. Uh, it doesn't matter that much that they don't like us at this moment. So, yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, let's uh, check out on these scouts, though. Let's uh, continue basically up this r valley here into the area of the Thracians. Ooh, they have another location here. Now, I do think I want to move up here. I'll march them, yeah. So we're going to pay 100, 100 training, and that means we can now move over here. And we are now known as the Noble, as our explorers find a family of starving law keepers encamped in the ruins, surviving on scraps. Pleading for our help, they offer to share their mastery of oratory in exchange for food. So, we could feed them, and we acquire rhetoric. Lovely. Or oh, we cannot afford this stuff. No, no, no. I do think we are going to get that technology. 100 food for basically what is 120 signs. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take that. Even though we don't have that much food, uh, we are building up some of that. So, yeah, I like it. Good. Let's go for the next unit, then. Okay, that's you. We've also got you down here. Right, so we could circle around that way. I'm also interested to see whether there's anything further down here. So, yeah, let's actually go via this Phoenician Cedar Forest. It's only flavor, but it's nice to see. Oh, and there is the border of the map over here. So, yeah, interesting. Also interesting to see that these, these effects are there. So, yeah, I, I kind of like that. It's a good art style. Okay, and then we've got a border over here from someone. And that's the Babylonians. Okay, let's find out what they're up to couple of cities over here already, at least, from their side. Not a big surprise, but still good to know. Then our warrior can, again, start to make its way back to our capital. Right, so without further ado, I think we can just head over to the next turn over here. I think we are blitzing through these turns, which is nice. The citizens of Thebes trust in our justice and leadership. As a result, city leaders wish to strengthen the legal systems and encourage more people to participate in the judic judicial process. They're considering the formation of a mistrophia, a paid function that provides jurors, jurors with a salary. Such a position would be costly, but it would make Steve's courts second to none. So that would basically mean that we are getting a little bit less money, but a little bit more culture and a little bit more civics per turn, which is lovely. We could gain judge. That's nice, but really at this point, since we are so old, 65, again, I don't think... We're going to live that long, so yeah, we're going to establish that. That's fine. This is not exactly our money-making place anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> that being said, in a stroke of luck, a cache of precious metals has been discovered in the new mines near Thebes. Mine finished. Uh, we could get more money, or we could get more culture. Now, I do think we are so good on money uh, that I think we are going to beautify the city. And that's going to allow us to go to developing here, which again is going to, well, further develop this, this entire place. So that's lovely. Right, so these are more hills over here. So indeed, I think we could start to 
Well, we can't, again, think about the wonders over here. Necropolis, there's nothing specifically except for the Circus Maximus, which would require quite a bit of culture. More orders, less start. Hmm, this is, this is tempting, I have to say. This is Arid Hills. This is just Arid over here. It does have fresh water, but I do think it's, it's tempting. You know what? Let's go for the pyramids over here. That is, that is uh, the first wonder that we're going to uh, get over here. And I think that's fantastic. We are going to get more wood just by the virtue of these uh, areas over here. So that's perfectly lovely. Um, and you've built a worker, actually, which is fine, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and build further lumber mills over here. Uh, just so that we are going to get nice bonuses for adjacent lumber mills. Um, and going to build a nice triangle there. That's fine. And then let's check on these workers here. And I think it would make some sense to start building a road towards our capital over here. So yeah, let's start building that and that should be fine and lovely indeed. Right, I do want to prioritize the workers uh, mostly so that we can get the bonuses here. Now we've got the fresh water farm over here, that's aid. This is also not a bad one over there. Could build mines over there. A quarry over here. Well, that's not that's not really I think a good idea. I mean, the artisans would give that a small boost, but not a big one. So yeah, let's actually build a farm over here. I think that's nice because of the adjacency bonus there, and also because of the sheep, which just give a boost to that. So that's also pretty nice and dandy. Right, I do think we need more stone in the midterm. So let's actually check where we could build uh, another quarry there. That's only 5.5. Down there it's a little bit better in Thebes. There are some okay locations over here. But not really that great ones. Yeah, we are slightly shy on stone here, I believe. That being said, I would like to build more, more roads. So let's actually get all the way over here. And instead of building a farm, I do actually want to you to build a road so that we can uh, connect up all of these cities that'd be fantastic Ooh, lots of good stuff over here nice good to see oh what's not so good to see is that the Romans apparently have cleared these barbarians and have now founded a city over here already so that's not great Grint has finished the worker that we did build okay that's fine and what else can we build though we can't build a forum because the stones are missing so that's not great here. We can of course build a person here. A rural specialist. Could give us a lot of bonuses. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I think that's fine. Good. I like it. Next unit is we don't ha really have that many movement points though. So let's make sure that we are moving the right person. Now, yeah, I think over here getting a little bit non more knowledge about the Babylonians is going to be a good choice there so that's fine by the way at what point are we gonna die we're 65 at this point so yeah that's not really that great okay another road over here so that we are connecting that up and the same basically over here it's gonna use a little bit more stone than we are producing each turn so we need to be a little bit mindful about that but I think that's gonna be okay you finished treasury one so that's lovely we could build a settler that I think we have fine. We could build a slinger as well. Now, I think going for Olympia might be a slightly better choice here. Have basically no discontentment, so yeah, let's actually go for Olympia, and that way we can build up a military slightly faster whenever we need that. So that's fine. So okay, let's check out on the Romans over here. I think the Romans are potentially our worst enemy here, so let's actually see what they've got going for them. I think that's uh, going to be the most important thing there. Right, you can go down here, and then again check on what the Babylonians are up to. Yeah, I think at this point we're not going to meet any further goody hots, so that's going to be that. That's alright. Area around Egypt here, so basically the edge of the map here. Yeah, as we suspected, there is a slight gap over here. That's fine. Some Numidians over there, but that's okay too. Oh, you do have another movement point. That's lovely. Okay, you've 
got so many cities, I just don't know how the AI does that. Whether it's just getting ridiculous bonuses, I do not know. But okay, let's see. Right. Uh, religion founded in some other places. Okay. Now that Duke Persis, I think that's our grandson, right? Yes. Has completed his study of philosophy. How shall we contribute to the court? What is his best role? Now, he might actually be our leader at one point. Mm -hmm. So we can have him be a scholar, which would unlock inquiry in capital. I think that's just going to give us more, more science. Yeah, but pretty significant amount. You'd be getting a lot of wisdom, which I think you do have already. Well, we have a little bit of wisdom. Or you could be a tactician. Now, I think we're going to go for Scholar, because that's sort of uh, emphasizing what you've got already, and that's fine. We've got Scavengers wishing to do their part in Athens. Eager citizens have offered to journey out into the wilderness and scavenge for food. Could get a little bit of food or some extra orders. Now, I think some food is slightly better, so yeah, we're going to go with that. We have another culture event, so basically Sparta's leveling up. That's lovely to see. Uh, Labors have unearthed an aged temple beneath the site. Could get a person, or we could get a lot of stone. Now, I think that person is pretty lovely because it would give us more science. I'm all for science, so... Yeah, let's go for the long-term choice here. No, 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 no. That, I think that's fine. Epics or exploration. Oh, we have reached 400 civics over here, so we can make the next decree over here. Um, and either we are getting a lot more bonus for each unit killed, or we get a movement bonus along rivers and scouts move on water. Now, the bonus along rivers is nice because we have some rivers here that are going to be significant for our movement, although not in this direction so much, and not really against the Romans either, so... If there's any, any war against a player, I think that's not going to be that useful. So, on the other hand, are we really going to kill that many units? We'll not decide right now. We, we're going to keep that a little bit, and that's fine. Uh, education, so another grand daughter of ours. She is already very courageous, so you know what? Let's double down on that and make her a general at some point, because that was obviously a thing in uh, ancient times. A, a delegation from the murdered Danish tribes, murderous Danish tribes, approach at the gates of your capital. They have already achieved mythical stature of their proudness in battle, and now their leader demands an audience. Our advisors suggest that you send a proxy for your safety. I ride out to meet them myself, so that would give us a bonus. Send in a proxy would give us a little bit more wisdom. Eh, that's nice. Or we could kill them. For slightly more legitimacy. Now, honestly, they are really far away and not that... Where were they even? Down here. Of course, we could kill them easily, but where would be the point? Let's ride out ourselves. I think that's fine. Good. We have completed another work over here, so that's perfectly lovely. And I think we should probably want to go for forum here because we I think we are getting a bonus to this anyway right yes 25% plus due to centralization so just having forum would give us two civics per year and that's would add up over time so yeah let's go ahead with this I think that's all right and we've got a lot of island people over here uh, including a lot of people who are missing stone so you where could you build a quarry could build some down there. They're not the worst locations, actually. Okay, fine. Let's uh, take a detour here. Let's build a quarry there. That's fine. The other workers, that's you and you. Okay, so two people over here with worker type abilities. Could build something over here. But I do think we probably want to build urban hamlets. Uh, we need stone as well. Well, we can buy stone, though. And it would even be that expensive so yeah let's actually get over here and let's add a road and to buy that we only need 50 gold and that's okay because now we have this we have connected this up and that should include Sparta and that does mean 
that the maintenance in Sparta is going to be 20% lower because it's connected, so that's perfectly lovely over there. Good. Okay, we could build another shrine though. More quarry output. Well, these quarries are not bad, but again, there's no place where we have a lot of these guys going. Could build a farm over there. Farm wouldn't cost us that much. And interestingly enough, it would be much better over here. Although over there, that would be actually the best place to put one. We are earning a lot of this stuff per turn now, so it's not that important, but still it would be lovely. I think all in all the area down there is fine though, so we don't really need that. All of this is connected up, so basically we draw something from over here to there, right? Oh, apparently all of this area does count as connected as well. Well then, why wasn't the river connected? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Right. That being said, Shrine of Hearts over there. More quarry output. Well, this is pretty much, these are the most important quarries that we've got. Although, on the other hand, I see that land consolidation is, is pretty close by as well. So, we might actually want to move over here and then soon start to uh, build up the plantations on this stuff. So, yeah, I think that's good. Right, you are scouting out Rome, and I think you should continue doing that. Because these guys are so strong. How can the AI do that? I don't, I don't understand. This was such a small town just a short while ago, and they're already just sprawling everywhere. Either they are super cheaty, or I don't know. Right, let's check down here. More AI stuff. And, in, in turn, they are also building up a big military. Something is not right here. It just doesn't feel right. It smells fishy, my friends. Right, let's check out this area here. More Numidians, sort of as we expected. And then the warrior can come home as well. And that's alright, good. Land consolidation, just a very short while away. We do have some extra orders. We could think about picking an ambassador. For example, this gentleman here would give us slightly more opinions from the barbarians. Not that that does us any good, but still it's interesting. In terms of laws, yeah, we've only got these two going. We don't really need these right now. So yeah, no, that's fine. Let's end the year. We're gonna get, now that Duchess Kalanis has completed her study, so that's our granddaughter. Yes, she is. She's a pretty good character. So, we could make her a zealot, and as a leader, stop to 10 orders. That's nice. Can her city production with training, that's also extremely good. Plus 4 charisma, so that's a plus 3 move, or be a judge, so that's a plus 4 move. Yeah, let's go for judge, I think that's fine. And in terms of research, uh, we're going to definitely go for Serenity because uh, building garrisons is going to be super important because that's going to allow us to build um, governors. Who are you? I've got some Roman slingers hanging about. Yeah, frankly, I don't really like that. So let's see about that. Um, you guys, though, can move up over here and start building a grove. It's going to take a while to do that, but gonna give us a luxury. Luxuries are always super useful. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. That's fine. You've connected up everything that you do need to connect up here. So um, let's actually build a small hamlet over here somewhere. I think over here is fine. Urban development? Hamlet? We don't have enough stone, but that's fine. We can just buy that. And that's okay. Right. We have enough of most stuff except for quarries, really, so I think that's what we probably want to focus on. By the way, isn't this a volcano? Aren't volcanoes supposed to be good for some things? Like, I don't know, farms? Yeah, well, we are getting enough food anyway, so it's not that crucial. No specific bonus resource that we want to grab over here. But I suppose what we do want to grab is 
a road leading this way. So yeah, let's get over here. Let's add a road. It's going to cost us a little bit of money. That's fine. We do have that stocked up. Good. Um, you guys might actually want to go home, basically. Well, let's do move you up into here. And then you can heal. Uh, well, let's use the scout movements here first. I think that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Move up all the way over here. That's all right. Got you guys. Yeah, let's scout down the area down here. By the way, it's amazing just how old Philip is getting here. 68. That's pretty, pretty darn old. So, don't have another movement order, but that's fine. Because we are on the 30 minute mark here, and I think it is a good place to put in a cut. So, next turn, we are going to get our first, se well, our second uni, the f uh, unit, the first that we build ourselves, uh, which I think is fairly lovely. We are getting 12 training here per turn. We could actually build a war elephant here at some point. That's nice. That's that's really nice. What's route? Can you can advances and can attack again? Ooh, that's interesting. And Saddleborn. That would be super super lovely. It's going to be very expensive, but man, that would be nice. Right. Hope to see you guys around next time. Uh, until then, stay safe. Bye bye.